Hey, it's Spencer. I'm out here this morning. I'm going to be showing you what we're working on. So yesterday we came and we worked the monkey pod right there, kind of this zone here. Um, so we took all that stuff down and now we're going to be continuing into this zone here. Um, so over here in this zone, there's not too much stuff going on. Um, it's just pretty much overgrown. There's uh, a grafted Atamoya in here. Um, all these vines are getting a little crazy, so we'll be managing that. And then there's a Pachira um, right here. There's that same Pachira back over there. And we got some flops, some sugarcane stuff. So basically just overgrown, kind of not really too much going on over here. So we'll just be cutting all that stuff down. Um, kind of just tidying it up. And then the other zone we've got is this zone here next to me. So we can zoom out far enough to see what we've got going on. So yeah, kind of this zone here. Um, just a bunch of trees. Um, got some ingas, got some avocados, um, got some jackfruits, and then we've got some kasusus in there. So this zone will be, uh, you know, a little bit more on the ladder tree work, but basically just a little top end tip in. Not too much, nothing too interesting. Um, yeah, kasusus are in here, kind of small still. Um, over there and over there. Um, so yeah, just a real straightforward. One just kind of tidying up. Got some monstera fruits over here. Um, and then we got some costas in here. They're pretty cool. Um, and then yeah, we'll just kind of show you at the end what's going on. There's not not too many trees in there. We got some macambos right in here. We got some durian seedlings right in there. So yeah, it'll just be a straightforward one today. Uh, just tidying up, we'll do the time lapse, and then I'll go around at the end and kind of show you what uh, what's in here. Because yeah, we can't really see anything right now. It's just kind of kind of floppy, kind of vines and stuff. <laughs> finish working the zone behind me and let's uh, take a look at it um, so we just topped it because it's been growing a little funky out that way so we wanted to just leave it with as much energy as possible so we didn't want to you know tip the whole tree so that's that and then the other thing is these avocados here um, they are about a couple weeks away, maybe a month away from flowering. Uh, these ones have not flowered yet, but we are hopeful that they might be flowering this year. They're seedlings, so we wanted to give them the opportunity rather than just prune them hard right now. Um, so we did leave the stature up a little higher than, uh, than a normal management, but it's because we're starting to step into production. Um, maybe, yeah, this side. So yeah, so we got those jacks, and then there's a couple avos, two avos in there. You know this one here. Um, so a little funky shapes, but that's for that particular reason for them starting to produce soon, hopefully. Um, and then we've got down here some cocoa yams. Um, they're just kind of hanging out. They're not doing super great at the moment. Um, and then we've got kasusu here, super, super spindly. Um, it's taken it a long time to even hold mm, this many leaves. Not a super happy plant. This one's doing slightly better in here, the kasusu. Same kind of thing, real spindly. Um, so we wanted to open up the sunlight for them, around them. So that's why, you know, we wanted to cut those trees, cut the jacks, um, cut the inga, but also it's a super sensitive tree. Um, it's really gonna want that shade. It really wants high fertility. It's a higher succession species. Um, so we can't just blast it with sun. Um, so we're we're giving it a little bit of shade, um, but also giving it as much sun as we really can. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably kind of watch what it does. If it's okay, we'll probably come and cut some more of these costas out to just give it a little more space. Um, we like to use costas 
uh, pretty much as a banana replacement in terms of mulch. Uh, lots of people in the centropic systems, they grow bananas um, for mulch, for biomass. Um, here, there's a duck swimming over there. That's all that flapping over there. Um, here are bananas. Uh, we care more about our bananas as food than for biomass and we have pests and we have diseases and stuff like that So we only grow our bananas for food. Um, we're only working with endangered genetics So we need to do what we need to do for those genetics rather than just pumping out banana biomass um, So we actually like to use our costas instead as a big biomass producer um, You know, these are nice big tall costas is um, and then yeah, we've got We've got this one right here as well um, they're also edible. You can eat these. These guys right here are edible. Nice little crunch, a little sour, like a like a green apple or something. Um, yeah, so that was kind of this zone was worked. You got a little sugar cane here. Um, this zone right here. We're actually planning on putting some stone fruits in here. Um, right, a nice sunny spot. Um, the agroforest is just right here. So we've got kind of some space here. So we were thinking just a couple of them. We've got, um, we've got a peach, we've got a nectarine, uh, and we've got, I think, an apricot. So actually, I don't know how or when you're supposed to plant those types of fruits. Are they supposed to be planted when they're dormant? No idea. Um, but yeah, we kind of want to plant those three in this zone and then we've got We've got a grafted atomoya here on pond apple uh, Pond apple cherimoya and then atomoya uh, It's flowered a couple times. It held one fruit one time, but it kind of aborted that so We'll see what this one does. It might throw us out some fruit. It's kind of small You know if the fruits like back in here or something we could let it hold it, but otherwise we can't let it hold any fruit. It's too small. And then we've got this zone over here that we worked uh, the monkey pod. And we've got some pachira here. We've got those costas again. Another variety. Super big, super pretty, nice ornamental one. Um, so yeah, using that for biomass as well. Got a bunch of it on the ground. And then let's see what else we got in here. We've got some macambos. This is a Theobroma bicolor. This is a um, cacao relative, a little deficient. And we've got a little, couple little seedling durians in here that I pointed out earlier. Doing all right. We got that Pachira insignis here, same as the other one right there. Um, and then the other thing, the last thing that we've got going on here, is we've got we've got some taro harvest um, ready. So that's an exciting one. We like to have our managements come out with uh, some food at the end. So we've got this nice big one here, this nice big one here. This one's a little bit smaller. And then this nice big one right here. Um, so yeah, we've got some good food right there that'll help fill our freezer a little bit. And then we got some good, uh, good snacks out of that. Um, yeah, and that's kind of it for this zone. Not too much going on. Um, but it feels really nice to be able to look through everything, kind of check it out. Um, I guess you can't even really tell. Be able to see through things. Be able to see through things. So exciting little management for us. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep on pushing on. We've got a few more beds to get to. Um, and I'll be showing you along along the way for that one. So thanks for watching uh, and we'll see you in the next one.